DigitalOcean's fully managed load balancer allows you to scale your applications, giving you a highly available, secure and performance system with just a few clicks. Here we are on the load balancers overview page, which we can get to by clicking on the networking section within the menu on the left. Once at the overview page, creating the load balancer is as easy as clicking the create load balancer button and configuring our load balancer with any desired settings. We'll first select the region where we want to create the load balancer. And the nice thing about DigitalOcean's UI is that it tells us what resources we've already created in this region. We can see that I've got four droplets within the Amsterdam region and one in the San Francisco area. But I'll go with Amsterdam as that's closest to. Next, we'll select the VPC where our load balancer will be created. I'll choose the default VPC network this is where I've got three droplets. And remember, the load balancer will need to exist within the same VPC we want to connect our resources to. We'll choose the amount of nodes the load balancer will have according to our expected simultaneous connections, requests per second, and SSL connections. I'll keep that to one for now, but we can always increase and decrease the number of nodes even after we've created the load balancer. We select what resources we want to connect the load balancer to. We can connect individual droplets via the resource name. For example, over here, I can connect to individual Ubuntu resources or multiple ones through tag. I'll connect to droplets having a green tag, and this will give us a highly available system. Once we've selected the resources we want to connect to, we'll configure any forwarding rules we require. For example, we can set HTTPS rules, which routes port 443 on the load balancer to port 80 on the droplet. If we do this, we'll have to add a certificate, which we can either add automatically by selecting a domain and using Let's Encrypt's free service and choosing whether we want a wildcard certificate or one for a specific subdomain, or we can bring our own certificate. For now, I'll remove the HTTPS rule and leave the default rule only. And finally, edit any advanced settings you might need, like enabling sticky sessions, modifying our health checks, enabling SSL forwarding, and more. Again, like most settings, we can modify these even after the load balancer has been. Once all of that is done, we'll give our load balancer a unique name. I'm happy with the one provided to us. Select the appropriate project and click Create Load Balancer. After a few minutes, our load balancer is up and running, and we can see the status of our connected droplets in their head. That's it for creating a load balancer with DigitalOcean. Feel free to reach out should you have any questions.